the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Take a look at this. This is from Mrs. Rojas in uh, Portland. She was picking her kids up from school today. It looks like the uh, uh, East Cliff Elementary School, and that's a uh, lightning bolt cloud to ground. That is uh, spectacular, but also extremely dangerous. And uh, whenever you hear the thunder, you want to be inside to avoid the lightning and uh, certainly don't want to be around any tall objects. You had that big incident at that golf tournament on Saturday in Atlanta that injured all those people. So again, thank goodness nobody was hurt by this. We had some uh, isolated thunder showers develop today. The atmosphere got unstable as our winds came down. And uh, again, that destabilized our atmosphere a bit. Tomorrow, not quite as much activity as we saw here, but again, it was only isolated. You look at the big picture here in the coastal bend and, and most of the area did not receive rain, but a lot of us did receive rain because it happened in downtown Corpus Christi. Here's Gregory and they had about two tenths, but north of Gregory up towards trade winds, they had 1.8 inches of rain and then about seven tenths on the south side there, just south of Bayside. But here's where the big action was across uh, town here, downtown area, all the way to the southwest side of town, anywhere from a tenth to about a half inch of rain. But uh, Jimmy Ruiz over by Carroll High School uh, he actually reported uh, 63 hundredths with his weather equipment there. And out around Annaville they had rain, but it quit before it got to Cal Allen. The airport had 11 hundredths. More showers, lower uh, heat index values coming up here uh, through the weekend. Upper level high to our west, it's not on top of us anymore. That's why our winds have come way down and become light and will stay that way for a while. Tropics are active with Dorian, but no threat here. The temperature right now is 82 degrees. We'll drop into the upper 70s through the middle of the night and on into the mid 70s with light winds and mainly clear skies. By daybreak, our low will be 75 degrees here. 74 further inland at Beeville, about 83 in Port Aransas. We'll start at 76 in the morning, tranquils, 94 at noon and 95 at 5 p.m. Overall, again, less rainfall coverage tomorrow than we saw today. Again, we'll pick up a few showers mid-afternoon tomorrow. High temperature will reach 97 here in Corpus Christi, but 105 inland at Freer and 91 over on Mustang Island. Here is the future tracker. Again, you can see isolated showers uh, tomorrow afternoon and not much until we get to Friday around noon. Isolated showers again. Notice Friday night football kicks off at 730 uh, for most of the area teams and it's all quiet in the coastal bend. So good weather for that, typically marred by uh, rainfall and we will see some showers develop then Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon the showers will be pushed inland by a sea breeze with this frontal system washing out to our north. Here's the tropical moisture and again uh, it is thinning out tonight. The cooler air will not make it into the region with uh, this frontal system sweeping the remnants of air and now just a depression off through the Atlantic. Here is the water vapor imagery. You can see the high pressure is just off to our west. That's what's allowed some of that moisture right there to come into the region. And as it continues to pull away from us, we'll be better uh, in uh, the rainfall department here over the next several days off and on. So here is Hurricane Dorian in the Atlantic, a category one storm that went through the Leeward and Windward Islands, Virgin Islands, and then on up to the north. That is uh, going to track up towards the Bahamas and then the area around Florida is going to get hit and hit hard by this Category 3 hurricane over the weekend, but it, we are not going to be involved with it. I don't think it's a factor at all for us. NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast, 97 the next two days, 95 to 96 on Saturday and Sunday. Again, we'll pick up tropical showers here over the next seven days. It'll be a little bit more some days than others, but overall, we are going to see the rainfall picking up in the region as it's supposed to this time of the year.